Good morning FlossTube and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen and I'm the Sassanat Stitcher. Today is Saturday the 27th of March. Um, I've no idea what time it is. Mid-morning. Um, it's a lovely sunny but blustery day today. Um, so spring is on the way. Uh, we've got daffodils out, we've got snowdrops, crocuses. Um, and we changed the clocks tonight as well. Um, we changed our clocks forward. So now it's going to be dark in the morning when we get up. We, we always get up at six. Um, it's been really nice waking up to the daylight and um, having to put the lights on. But yeah, so... It's going to be dark in the morning, pulling forward for an hour at night, so it won't get dark till probably about seven now, seven half past seven, which is better because you can do more outside. Um, I think you always feel a bit better when the daylight's longer. Um, we can see we can see summer in the distance. It's getting there. Um, so anyway, um, Brock, he's doing well. He's, oh, he's, I'm going to have to tell you this. He has got a new party trick. Or well, he's got two new party tricks. A um, few weeks ago, it was a Saturday and Sean wasn't at work. Um, and the postman came and we just sort of said, Brock, go get the post. You know, really encouraged him. Go get the post, bring it here. And, um, he did and he was ever so good and then we you know we left it at that and ever since then as soon as he hears the postman's van don't ask me how he knows which van it is um because we get a lot of lorries coming down our track um but he knows which one's the postman and as soon as the postman comes he whizzes round to the front door and bless him he brings the post and if, say, there's more than one post, uh, letter, he'll bring one, then he'll go back again and he'll get another one. Um, I don't know whether I'll be able to get it on camera, um, but if, I, if sometime I can, whether I can do it for this video or not, I'll try and do it for another video. And he's so good. I mean, he only got shown once to do that. Um, now, his other party trick is um brock loves his tennis ball um bracken used to love tennis balls as well i think it's a clumber spaniel thing um now he's a male clumber and he's got a lot of um jowls here um if 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 you've um you've seen a picture of him you'll know and um he can get two tennis balls in his mouth easily now the other day i he he loses his tennis balls under the settees um there's about a centimeter or so clear and they just go whizzing under the settee um so anyway one afternoon i got them out for him and i think he got two in his mouth and i pulled another one out and it wasn't until he suddenly turned round and looked at me that I realised he'd got three balls in his mouth. And I will insert a picture here for you to see. I was amazed. Um, he hasn't done it since, but it, it, I was I was gobsmacked. I was totally gobsmacked at this. Um, so here we are, aren't you? Hey, you good boy. Are you going to come and say hello first before we do anything else? Come here. Come here. Look. Say hello. Oh. What's this? Brock, what's this? Oh. You good boy, aren't you? No, not on my sewing. Not on my sewing. You good boy, aren't you? Hey. Yes, you fetch the post, don't you? Yes. Yes. You're a good boy. Hey. Aren't you? Can you say goodbye? Say goodbye. Hey. Go down then. 
And then I can show everybody my sewing. Good boy. <laughs> so that's Brock. He's, he is doing really well, bless him. He's, he's, what is he now? He must be, uh, March, April. He must be coming up for 11 months now. And he's started to get really protective. Um, of me, especially when Sean's at work, um, which is nice to see. Anyway, right, um, I want to welcome, oh, I've bollocks. I would like to say hello to all my new subscribers and all uh, subscribers that have come back to watch my videos. Um, thank you so much. I am absolutely blown away. Um, we've got over a thousand subscribers now. And I just, it warms my heart that people want to actually see what I'm doing. Um, because I so very nearly at one stage got it in my head that nobody wanted to see anything that I, I was sewing and I got to offer to show you. Um, luckily I sort of got over that blip and um, I got going again. This is a few videos um, you might remember if you've watched all my videos. Um, but I'm just blown away by the amount of subscribers that I've had just recently. Um, so thank you. I, 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 words cannot say how much it means to me. Um, so when, when I got to 500 subscribers last time, I did do a giveaway and we might have something at the end of the video. So keep watching, um, or fast forward, whichever you want to do. Um, but just want to say thank you so much to everybody that subscribes, likes, and, and all your comments. I love reading your comments. And if you've got anything you want to know, you know just just ask if i don't know what i'll find out for you um it's yeah when i'm here on my own floss tube keeps me going so just want to say thank you for that um right less of that <laughs> right i've got some projects that i've worked on i've actually uh, got some haul and um, I only ordered uh, my haul yesterday morning. Um, where did I get it from? Peak, uh, Peak Side Needleworks. Um, I ordered it yesterday morning and it came in the post today. I mean, brilliant service. That's all I can say. Absolutely. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. So, anyway, so we'll do some haul in a little while. So, I'll show you what I've been doing. Um, this one is... Let's have a look. I'll take it out, otherwise you're going to get some glare. I think you've finished the breakfast now. And it's called Forevermore. Um, I think this is really pretty. Whoops. <laughs> One of them days. Um, it says, until death do us part. And then I was going to put my initials and Sean's initials and the day we got married. Um, which is actually, it's nearly our wedding anniversary. Uh, 4th of April and I've been married 34 years gosh where's time gone anyway that's by the by um, so that's uh, Long Dog Sampler and we've done a bit on it let me find something to put behind it I should have ironed them, shouldn't I? Right. Let me see. 
The light's glaring a bit, isn't it? Right, there we go. Is that better? Why don't you have a better look? So, I think last time I've, uh, since I showed it last time, I've done all this bit here. Started on the leaves. Um, did the church, which I, I'm assuming it's a church. And it's got a flag on. And this bit, that thing. Now, I think it's a swan. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a swan. So this is done on 36 count uh, de blue. No, it's not. It's, oh, goodness me. 36 count. Oh, what is it now? Um, yeah. It's by Picture This Plus, I think. Um, gosh, I can't remember the name. Sorry, I'm not quite with it. I've just had some bad news, so I'm just a bit not quite with it at the minute. Um, I'm sure everyone's shouting at me what the colour is, and I'm... <laughs> Will not come. What on earth colour is it? Um... Anyway, if if you can if you know what colour it is, please just tell me in the comments because I have no idea. I cannot remember. Um, so that's um, I finished page one. I think page one sort of goes there, and we're halfway through page two. There's only four pages. Um, so that's a bit better, isn't it? Um, so that's coming on really well. I really enjoy doing this. Um, it's nice stitching something in just one colour for a change, to be quite honest. Um, really like this one. And I've, as I've said before, I was going to do it in white. And the white just didn't seem to show. It just didn't give the coverage that I liked. Um, so I'm going to carry on with this one, like I've said before, and um, at another another day I'm going to get a higher count, um, a 40 count, because to be quite honest, 40 count is my sweet spot. I do enjoy stitching on 40 count, although my eyesight just recently has really gone weird. Um, I'm really struggling to see things at the minute. Um, I, I know I've had a letter from the opticians saying that I'm overdue an eye test so I just probably need some stronger glasses so that's that one um, pop that one away um, now I still can't remember what colour this is um, I don't suppose it will tell me on here will it For the life of me, remember what colour that is. Never mind, it's blue. Right, so that's that one. Let's pop that away so I don't lose it. I have just got a mass of stuff everywhere. Um, I don't want it to, any paper to fall on the floor, otherwise somebody might get his chops round them. I'm asleep. There we go. That's that one. Um, what else did I do? There's this one. The next one that I've worked on is. Where are we? Let's get my book. It's a Hands Across the Sea samplers, and it is Isabel Uffendale, 1829. Um, so this is really pretty, really enjoying doing this. And I've done Anne Offendale, um, 
if you, if you follow me, then you'll, you'll know that I've done Anne. Um, so let me just take her out of... Well, I wonder if I can undo it. Take her out of the hoop. Um, oh, there we go. There we go. Right. Let's have a look at Anne. Um, let's get something behind it. One of these days, I will get some foam board. Right. So. I think last time you saw it, I had finished... I'd done the lions and the satin stitch flowers. So I've come down. I have come down. There we go. I've come down the border. Um, I think I've done I'll do three three of these and I've gone down a bit there and we've done this vase and the dog and I I just wanted to change you know what it's like when you do because this side is repeated on the other side so I just wanted to change so that's why I did these oh, I've done the well I don't know what they I think they're butterflies I'm presuming they're butterflies but, uh, and this one is done on 40 count Zweigart light mocker and the thread is DMC um, I'll hold it up so you can see all of it let's see if you can see it there we go. I, I apologise for not ironing it I really should have done I suppose um, but we're get we are getting there. Um, it's quite a big girl, to be quite honest. She is um, she's three hundred and thirty two stitches by four hundred eighty one. Um, so she's quite she's a bit bigger than Anne. She's she's longer than Anne is, but I think that is so pretty. And the colours are beautiful. Let me have a close, close look at the rest. And I love this, this flower here. Really pretty. There we go. So. So I've I've started back on um, Isabel. I I had a bit of a probably a week's break off her whilst I was doing something else. Um, there we go. Pop her away so we don't lose anything. And I store my threads for Isabel in a um, storage box and they're on, these ones are on um, bobbins and I just photocopied the picture on the front so that I knew um, what the threads were for. Right, so that's Anne. Um, now the other one, I I think I just started it last time I showed you. Um, I've got it in a pillowcase. <laughs> I haven't got another bag, so um, I've been putting this one in a pillowcase. Now this one is um, a linen and threads sal. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, 2020 sal. So I'm I'm just a bit behind everybody else. Um, but oh, I'm loving this one, really am. Uh, this one is stitched 
on 40 count antique white. I think it's, uh, yes, it's a, a Zweigart base. So, I think since I've seen you, I've done, well, I know I've definitely done this one and that one and uh, started this one. I've still got the other flower to do there and that flower to do there. But I, I decided to stop and have a bit of a rest from it because th this one is, you know, it takes a while to do, to be quite honest. Um, but it's beautiful. Really, lo do love this. Um, and the colours. Th this is done on um, DMC. The colours, uh, where's my, uh, I've done this one with floss away bags. Um, someone was asking what colours that I've used. So, um, I'll go through them for you. Uh, this one is 3722. That's a dark pink. Um, these are all DMC. Um, 926, that's a medium blue. Then a light blue is 927. Uh, then a peachy colour is 950. Then the medium, is that a medium one? Or a medium pink, I think, is 152. Medium green is 524. Then I've got a dark blue at 930. And a golden one at 3046. And then the dark green is 3363. Three, three. And then I added in the large vase, I added another green, which the colour is 3364. Um, and then I did add another, some more colours, um, which I, quite a while ago, I bought off eBay a storage box a bit like the one that Isabel is in but um, it had got um, I think there was two of them actually and they got loads of floss in there I don't know whether it was um, uh, DMC anchor or what it was so I just um, picked some different colors just to make it a bit different um, so this this part here was just like a an orangey color orangey peachy color and then there's a a dark lilac and a light lilac but i couldn't tell you uh what their numbers were because i just picked them from from the box that i had because there, there was no no numbers come there was just the floss on the cards which which is fine but it would have been nice to know what numbers and what make they were but um there we go so i really do enjoy this really loving this one um i don't know why i started it when it came out but i didn't <laughs> so I got some inspiration for this and some colours um, from the Facebook page, uh, the Linen and Threads Facebook page. I had a look at um, what everybody was doing 
and just thought I just wanted to, to do it in a few different colours. So there we go. All right. I haven't got a picture of what it is like because it's PDF and I I didn't I didn't print a picture of what it's all meant to look like. But I know most of you most of you will probably have stitched it so you'll know what it's like. So that's, that's that one. Right. right, the next one, wherever it's gone, is, do you know, I've, this last week, um, I have never had to frog so much before. I don't know why, because um, normally I don't, sounds big headed but I don't normally fr need to frog but this last week I have done more frogging than I've nearly done stitching to be quite honest um, this next one is Blackbird Designs All Joys for Thine oh, sorry glare Um, oh, that's that's a picture of the original where they got the uh, design from. I love seeing the old ones. I can't wait till we're out of lockdown and we can go um, near me. There's a um, great big load of um, antique centres um, close by um, Hemswell. Uh, anybody in UK uh, and I can't wait till we can go back there and have a look because I know that I have seen some samplers um, there before and you know what it's like you get home and you wish you bought them right so this one I have done on um, now this one's 40 count uh, Weeks Dye Works Confederate Grey. Now, I have got to say that I actually don't like this fabric. Um, let me show you what I've done. I think I've done, uh, I think I've done that before. I've done the flower and some part of the writing and I've done this um, now I've actually gone wrong here um, I think I'm a stitch out <coughs> excuse me and I I cannot work out where I've gone wrong um, so I think I'm gonna have to either fudge it or I'm going to have to take all of that out I, I, I've been counting everywhere and I can't see where I've gone wrong now why I don't like this fabric um, I think oh wait you a minute it, this could be 46 count actually see if I 40 or 46 um, the thing I don't like about this one is some of the threads are so, so thin. Um, and I guess that's maybe how, why I've gone wrong. Um, but when you, um, like this, this is 40 count um, Newcastle here. You can see... Can you, you can see all the threads now this one whether it's just I've got a dud piece or not I don't know but it's just so thin and so fine that I'm really not enjoying this one at the moment which is a, which I'm really upset about um and I suppose because I've gone wrong. 
Um, I'm cross with myself for going wrong. Um, I just need an afternoon to sit down and just unpick it all and just see where I've gone wrong. Um, but I won't... I won't be using this fabric again. It just fit, it's just so, you can see it's really see-through. And it's just so, so fine. Um, maybe it's just me. Hopefully next time I'll be able to say that I've done a lot more and that I sorted it out. Um, but, yeah. I put it, when I went wrong, I put it down, and you know what it's like, you just, I'll do something else instead. So, there we go. Um, the threads, uh, the threads are, I've done their own floss away bags, and um, we all know at the minute, fabric and thread is very hard to get at the minute so some of the threads um, I couldn't get hold of so what I've done is the uh, they should be classic colour works or weeks dye works so I've got the, the ones that I could get hold of and then the ones I couldn't I went with the DMC equivalent um, so that's what I've done. Um, yeah, this one's smaller than I thought it was going to be, probably because it's done on. Um, look, you see how tiny it is. I thought it was going to be bigger, but I guess it's because I've I've done it on a high account. Still, it's nice to have different size. I cannot wait until we are out of lockdown so that I can try and get some of my finishes framed. I am so desperate to get them framed. Um, but we've still got more, two, three more weeks. I, I mean, I, I lost. I don't even know when we do come out of lockdown now. Or even if once we're out, we'll stay out. Um, I don't know, it's really hard at the minute. Anyway, um, haul. Right, let's go into haul. As I said, postman came this morning um, with an order that I only ordered yesterday. As I say, I am blown away at how quickly it's come. Um, now, what I've ordered, let's, let's get into these packages. I've got come by first class so um, in here is some thread let's see if I can get into it without cutting my fingers off this way. Let's have a look. oh no Steve oh it's not that's not what I thought it was Crikey, that's come quickly as well. Um, I ordered, um, I wasn't expecting this at all. Um, I ordered on X, Etsy um, some thread drops. Um, and I, I only ordered them yesterday. Oh, wow, aren't they, that's really pretty, look. It's in a really nice little gift bag. Oh, oh, I like this. This is nice. What have we got? We've got 20. Oh, they're pretty. They're like pearlescent. I don't know if you can... Can you see? Let's see if I can... I don't know if you can quite see. They're pearlescent, they are. They're sort of... Um, they're shiny. And then it comes with a uh, thread ring. And these, do you know, I can't remember where I found them from. I wonder if it'll say. 
got a piece of paper with it. That I, here we go. Let's have a look. Samplers and Stitches um, on Etsy. It's a UK site. Um, and I ordered 20 ivory thread drops uh, and metal ring. And they were £5. So um, I was quite pleased with that. Well, these are nice, look. I just need one of those nice, um, there we go, uh, things to, I don't know what everybody's got, one of those nice um, ornaments that goes on it. I shall have to see if I can find that. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Really pleased with that. So 20 of those, and they're really quite thick. They are. They're very sturdy and thick. Um, so 20 for £5. And it was £1.83 postage. Um, so, yeah, can't, can't go wrong with that. I'm really pleased with that. I hope that won't go back in there. That's really cute. Oh, I love that really nice well that was a surprise i didn't realize that was going to be there uh so that's samplers let me show you samplers and stitches on etsy leave it there if you need to stop the video and write it down she got some different ones uh, i think she got some lilac ones and um uh, there was some square or rectangular ones as well. There was all sorts. Oh, right. Brilliant. That's nice. Right. I'm hoping that everything else I ordered is in here. Right. This I got from Peakside Needleworks. Um, they're an online shop based in Derbyshire, I think. Um, that's open this up hope I don't cut anything right let's see what we've got that's empty Yeah, they're gloss up, uh, the from gloss up in Derbyshire. So I ordered from Scarlet House, uh, Ceci Smith. I thought this looked beautiful. I really liked this one. Um, Oh, this, this calls for Gentle Art or Weeks Dye Works. Oh, that'll be all right. I can get some of them. That's really nice. I like that. Um, stitch count on this one is 185 wide by 145 high. It's done on Heartland from Picture This Plus. Dwarf. That's what that colour is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, the blue, the blue fabric for the long dog sampler is dwarf. It just came to me. I had a mental block then. Um, yeah, they're they're asking for forty count Heartland linen, which is lovely, but it, it's like gold dust at the minute. I can't find any of those at the minute. Um, it says it was stitched on 40 count Heartland from Pitching This Plus um, using uh, Gentle Art and Weeks Dye Works. And there's also 
a DMC conversion as well. What's good with um, pink side needleworks is some of the charts when you when you're looking on the website and um, you open up a, another page to bring it up larger. Sometimes it will tell you what fabric you need and what threads you need. So you you could order them at the same time as ordering the the chart. So so that's Sissy Smith from the Scarlet House. And then I bought, which I'm sure most of you have done, uh, Blackbird Designs, Oh Joyous Day. Let's take it out then. There we go. There we go. I'm sure most of you have done this. And the their inspiration was taken from um an english sampler stitched by Anne Dunn in 1761 which is that one so let me just make sure what time it is i don't want to be here gabbing at you every you know talking to everybody and then sean walks in for his dinner and i haven't done any of it So at the same time, I because, like I say, as we all know, thread and fabric is hard to combine, I thought I would order some more fabric whilst I was there, as you do. And I got a Legacy Linen 45 Count Wild Bird Seed. Let's have a look at this one. And I've got a fat eighth. Mm, you can't quite see that, can you? Sort of a, a really light, creamy colour. Creamy brownie, coffee colour. Uh, that's a bit better. That's nice. I like that one. That'll come in handy before something will go on that. Um, and then what I the threads are is um, I think I showed you last time that I've got um, Jane Cowie 1850 from the Scarlet House. A bit of glare there. Um, and this was done in needlepoint ink silks well it was going to cost me 60 pound for the silks and i know that's not a problem um but i ended up buying the dmc i know um kyle stitching in sand carl reckermeyer um he's got this chart and he's got the DMC um, so I'll show you all the lovely colours they're really nice aren't they some pretty colours those two look the same but they're not one's 351 and uh, the other one's 350 Oh, what have I done? I've ordered two of that one. I know I wanted two of that one. Three, seven, five, oh, which one? Oh, I've got two of that one. Never mind. I do do that. Yeah. So that's, these threads are for this one. And I've got a choice choice of fabrics is uh, the Legacy Linen Jersey Cream. I've got a fat quarter of that. That's a 45 count, um, which I think is what I'm going to use. Um, I don't 
this legacy wild bird seed is that gonna be big enough um let's have a look um if you add your border on that that's 45 count this is saying 46 count so that's almost a, a, so i could use i could use any three of these So we could have that one, that one, or that one. I think that one's too dark, although it says that Jane's sampler was stitched on 46 count cocoa linen from Weeks Dye Works. Well, all the cocoa linen I've seen is quite dark, and that just does not look like it's on dark linen um so i don't know whether that's correct i don't know who am i to know i don't know um so i think i'm going to go with um the jersey cream i think um so that one and then those colours. There, I see. So that is going to be my next new start, she says. Mm. I used to be a mag uh mag uh, I used to just use stitch on one. Um project at a time and I've actually got an Elfendale uh, All Joys for Thine Long Dog Sampler Linen and Threads and I've also got uh, Rosewood Manors Winter Quaker so that's five and another one six don't tell the husband but he doesn't know he won't hurt him. So, <laughs> bless him. He wouldn't mind. He, he wouldn't be able to wrap his head around why you would want to stitch on more than one. But, and, and when I first started uh, stitching again um, I, and started watching Floss Tube, I used to see that. Um, I used to think, why has everybody got so many um, projects on the go? And it's not until you start doing Floss Tube and you start seeing everybody else's charts that you realise that one project is just not enough. So, to be quite honest, I quite like this one. Well, I quite like, I really like this one. So... Um, I don't think that one's very big, so um, I might end up having to get some threads for them. I think I've got some of the threads. Well, I've got one, I know that much. Um, yeah, I might just have to have a look. So, oh, it's nice, isn't it? Right. So, that's all my haul. Right, um, my thousand subscribers, I, as I say, I am just blown away by how many people have subscribed and how many people would just want to see what this crazy woman's doing. Um, so I think it's time to have a giveaway. Now, I was going to give away my Mirabilia chart. Um, and there is a story about that one, of how I, I was looking through eBay. Uh, this was ages ago. And I was looking at Mirabilia's for some reason. I don't know why, but I was. And I fell asleep. Um... And the next thing I knew, 
this chart was in my basket but the um um what would you call it the the mirabilia thing was on buy it now and i could not find a way of getting it out of my basket without buying it um i'm sure there must have been a way anyway so i bought it and i did start it but there's no way i'm going to finish it but and I, th I was thinking yesterday, what can I give away? And I was thinking, oh, I'll give my mirabilia away. And I went to find it a while ago, and I've, start, I've marked on it. I always take a working copy. Why I didn't on that one? Um, so I, d I, I can't let somebody have something that I've already... I haven't written on it, I've, I've marked it. It is all in pencil. Um, but, I mean, if, if anyone thinks that they, they wouldn't mind it, I mean, I'm, I'm going to try and um, rub the marks out and see um, if it, it comes out. Then maybe uh, at a later stage, I'll, if there's plenty of people that wouldn't mind having... I, I could do another competition with that one. So, anyway, uh, what I've got to give away is um, whether anybody's interested in it or not, I don't know. It's a Thomas Kincaid, um, oh, the glare, um, cross stitch chart. Now, it's an embellished cross stitch. It's called A New Day Dawning, number 50994. And it has um, a printed chart, uh, printed canvas fabric. Um, I don't know what, it's 14 count Ada. It's got all the floss to go with it. Um... Ada cloth, 100% cotton floss, decorative threads, needle and chart and easy to follow instructions. Um, I think there's a lot of French knots in here. And it's one of those where, as you can see, it's printed on the fabric. So it's not what it's one where you don't stitch all of it. And I don't know whether some of it's done in tent stitch. But if anyone is interested in winning this, um, put in your comments. Uh, what can we say? Uh, put in your comments, uh, Thomas Kincaid. Yeah. Kincaid is C-I-N-K-A-D-E. Um, so you need to spell it right. So I'll put it there. Um, all I ask of you is please to, to enter to win this chart and the floss and the needle and the fabric is like my, cut, my video and please be a subscriber. Um, that's all I ask of you. Um, I, as I say, I'm just blown away by everybody wanting to watch my videos. And it just makes me feel really wanted. Is that the right word? I don't know. But I, it, I, I was just... Yeah... Well, when I saw it went over a thousand, I, I was just so heartened. I really was and humbled. So thank you so much for everybody that has subscribed, everybody that watches my videos and comments. Um, as I say before, I love hearing from you. Uh, please keep in touch, everybody. Um, so I will do the draw for this competition next time i make a video which will be 
two to three weeks um so you've got plenty of time to comment um so i hope everybody stays safe and enjoy the sunshine whilst it lasts and i will see you next time take care everybody bye